On Christmas Island in the Indian Ocean, you can just sit down on the foreshore near the jetty and watch the boats come in. And of course, many of them are illegal immigrants. 78 men, women and children crammed on this open boat have travelled 450 kilometres across the ocean to Christmas Island in Australian Territory. And here another 80 or so people have, have come in a semi-open boat. At least there is some shelter on this vessel uh, in case of a bad storm. But they are detected uh, <coughs> approaching Christmas Island by the Navy who have a couple of frigates in the area and they're very shortly boarded by the Navy and all the passengers are given a life vest once the Australian authorities have control of the boat, they escort it to a mooring about a half a kilometre offshore uh, from the Christmas Island Wharf uh, where the boat is tied up and then a barge uh, is, is taken out to the illegal um, vessel and small groups up to 10 or 12 uh, illegal immigrants are loaded on the barge and transferred to the shore. The Australian authorities seem to have <coughs> this procedure down to a fine art. Um, they have the illegal immigrants uh, seated at all times on the barge and they're, they're watched over by armed uh, Australian police officers, uh, customs officers and <coughs> Navy officials. Once at the uh, Christmas Island jetty the barge is uh, lifted on, a, on the big gantry um, so that the people can be offloaded onto the jetty. Also on the jetty are uh, the buses waiting to take the immigrants to the detention centres. The men <coughs> are taken to the main centre and um, the, the women and children are taken to a, a, a different location on the island. The um, illegal immigrant uh, Processing uh, takes a lot of uh, work and different types of workers. We've got bus drivers and interpreters. You've got medical staff that give them all a thorough medical checkup as soon as they get to the detention centre. Um, you've got a lot of Australian police officials that watch over them as well. And then um, the detention centre employees, various staff out there. So once they're all unloaded, the, the the barge goes back for another load. It takes about a half an hour for each load. And on this particular day, there were about uh, eight or ten loads of ten uh, immigrants each time. This uh, enabled them to be processed efficiently. Once the uh, illegal immigrants are <coughs> on the jetty, they have to remove their life vest and then uh, they sit on the ground and I waited uh, until the police and customs people can search them thoroughly. They, their baggage is separated from them and that is also searched for um, illegal materials. After the uh, men have been searched, uh, they are then separated from their baggage and loaded onto a, an awaiting bus to be taken up to the detention centre. In meanwhile, the next group have arrived from the offshore position and they too uh, have to be processed, loaded onto the jetty, uh, and um, bodily searched by the customs officials 
and this includes uh, the women as well. Here's a w woman officer searching one of the immigrant women uh, for any weapons or contraband. After the, all the passengers have been removed from the <coughs> boat and brought ashore, they are then loaded on the buses and taken <coughs> to their respective accommodation at the uh, detention centres on Christmas Island. And if you're wondering what happened uh, to their boats, uh, we understand and we've seen it that they're taken out to sea and uh, after dark they're set on fire and we understand that the Navy also used them as target practice and after as much as possible can be burnt on these boats they are then sunk and dropped to the bottom of a very deep ocean.